Mitsubishi Heavy Industries have designed a new bulk carrier that will enable reductions in CO2 emissions by about 25% compared with conventional average bulk carriers. Mitsubishi will apply its design concept to three grain carriers to be built for Archer Daniels Midland of the US. The new bulk carrier design adopts the company's Mitsubishi Air Lubrication System, also known as MALS, which reduces frictional resistance between the vessel's hull and sea water using air bubbles produced at the vessel's bottom, along with a high-efficiency hull form and enhanced propulsion system. Sumitomo Corporation of Japan has received the order for the ship construction from ADM and Oshima Shipbuilding was selected to build the ships. Moving on, the maritime sector is heavily regulated. The burden of compliance with the IMO Marpol Annex 6 regulations on emissions bears down the owners and operators. The number of emission control areas and sulfur emission control areas is set to grow, imposing heavy penalties on non-compliant vessels. The adds cost, but with the vessel oversupply in many areas and faltering economy recovery, the outlook for charter rates and thus earnings remains uncertain. SECAs and ECAs in the Baltic and North Sea are plentiful. North Sea gas have triggered an emergent market for small LNG bunkered vessels that meet emissions legislation, both current and planned. Others are now reconsidering their options. Gas is plentiful with reserves offering an estimated 250 years supply. However, the question is who blinks first? Ship owners will not convert to LNG until there are sufficient LNG bunker ports in the right locations. Ports will be hesitant to provide LNG infrastructure until there is a guaranteed market is there. Moving on, Mr. Rodriguez will oversee all sales activity, pricing and marketing in the eastern half of the United States and Puerto Rico, reportingly directly to Brian Taylor, Executive Vice President, Chief Operating Officer and Chief Commercial Officer of Horizon Lines Incorporated. Joe has extensive experience selling our services in the Puerto Rico trade as well as in the larger eastern region of the United States, Mr. Taylor said. He has worked closely with our sales team for over several years and is well equipped to step into a demanding leadership position. As General Manager Pricing and Marketing in Puerto Rico, Mr. Rodriguez was responsible for the development and implementation of Horizon Lines, commercial strategy in the Puerto Rico trade over the past three years. Previously, he served as General Sales Manager, U.S. Eastern Region, as well as General Sales Manager and Strategic Account Director in San Juan, Puerto Rico. With that, it's a wrap-up of this edition of Waves. Thank you for watching.